Welcome to getting started with live video on your Dactronix control system. This tutorial will demonstrate how to connect a live video feed to your Dactronix system and make a button in show control to view it on your display. Follow along on screen or with your own Dactronix equipment as we demonstrate the process. A standard video system with one video input consists of three control components. The first is a DMP8000 computer. DMP stands for Digital Media Player and is where all the content for the display is stored and live video is passed through. The second component is a DIP or Display Image Processor. The model of DIP may vary, but its purpose is to convert the signal from the DMP8000 computer into a fiber optic signal for the display to use. The final component is a show control computer. Used to control the DMP8000 and to create graphic content, the show control is connected through a router. The show control computer may be an all-in-one touchscreen PC or a laptop. Before we begin, ensure that power is turned on to the display. Turn on the display image processor and wait 3 minutes for it to start up. Next, turn on the DMP8000 computer, followed by the show control computer. Once everything is powered up, connect a video source to the DMP8000. This model DMP8000 accepts SDI. An additional converter is provided for component or composite sources. Once the video source is connected, open Display Studio by selecting the icon on the desktop. The system should come pre-configured with content and buttons organized in various tabs along the top. Clicking the corresponding button that matches the input will send the live video feed to the display. If the button doesn't appear with the corresponding input, follow along to create one. To make a new button, right-click in the gray area and select New Button. Click on the plus sign at the bottom of the box. Choose DMP8000 Player Control and click Step 2. In Step 2, select either the Input Zone or Scaled Video Zone. The Input Zone allows the video to cover the entire area of the display whereas the Scaled Video option leaves space to show other content such as sponsor graphics next to the live video. Step 3 should be left on Play. In Step 4, click Add. This should bring up the content folder for the DMP8000. Select the VMPL file that matches the input you have connected and click Open. This file tells the DMP8000 computer to pass the video source through to the DIP. In Step 5, leave it set to Continuous. Name the button so that you can identify it later by highlighting the word Play and entering a new name. Typically this button will be referred to as Live Video. Click Save to complete the button. Once that button is created, you may also want to create a button that blanks or stops the live video. To do this, right click in the gray area and choose New Button. Click on the plus sign in the bottom of the box. Click on DMP8000 Player Control and go to Step 2. In Step 2, select the same zone you selected in the previous button. In Step 3, select Blank Display. Name this button Blank Live Video and click Save. This concludes the tutorial on getting started with live video on your Dactronix control system. Visit our YouTube channel, Dactronix Control Systems, to learn more about your Dactronics display and show control.